Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to another MapleStory adjacent video. God bless, we're doing the Reddit thing, but this time for MapleStory. What? 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 And it's going to be a legally distinct uh, series where we call Maple Monday, but it's not Maple Monday. Uh, if you know, you know. Listen, man, I like the alliteration. Topical Tuesdays for Tuesdays. That shit goes hard, brother. I'm going to be real. Maple Monday is so good, but can't do that i can't take it it's legally distinct okay um but i don't know how this is gonna do i don't know if i'm gonna keep doing these or not but basically the idea that i do this with the lost ark subreddit is i just take the top posts over the last week and we talk about it once a week typically on tuesdays for that maybe on mondays for this will i keep doing this after today i don't know uh we'll see we'll see if it's worth doing we'll see if people like it but uh, what's hot on the press? <laughs> uh, I usually don't go through meme posts, but for this first week, we'll just kind of rip it and see what happens. We'll see what the people are saying. We'll see everything from little to small. Uh, we got some good stuff. A lot of memes, a lot of art, a lot of, a lot of people talking about uh, the High Mountain Fragment Frenzy Alert, which is, uh, you know, it is what it is. But this is the first 25 star in a non-TMS server. And it's on Hyperion, if I'm not mistaken, which is low-key kind of a... Uh... I mean, this is not right. This item is not right, man. <laughs> what not hitting any Eternal does to a motherfucker. Uh, still seems worse than 22 Eternal Pants. Uh, I don't know. I'd have to look. Obviously, Sirius said it was 150 while Eternals are 250. <laughs> I don't know if anyone has ever told you this, but shut the fuck up. <laughs> Sometimes people are funny. Um, off event 25 stars crazy. Yeah, this was before the event too. This is crazy. I mean, better or worse, this shit is still fucking crazy, dude. Uh, that item goes hard. Thousand fragments from High Mountain. Basically, people are very upset about the perceived notion where if something's game breaking in a positive way for players uh it gets fixed immediately and then if it's like game breaking in a negative way it doesn't get fixed immediately and i mean it's it's not true but i get the i believe me as a nightwalker i get the bitching about high mountain and the lag in high mountain but believe me i get it uh this shit's unplayable but eh, it is what it is uh, happy Thanksgiving. This guy hit a fucking double boss. It's crazy to me that these count as separate lines. Boss damage and damage to bosses. It's interesting, but, uh, good on this guy. <laughs> Mods ban this guy. Fuck you indeed. Yeah, true, 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 true. My proposal on making Wild Hunter usable again. Mick Jagger has been my reliable partner since the beginning. I need a stronger cat if I want to stay meta. Borger. Free Borger? Shit, I'd be in there. Fucking Ho Young. That's not right. You can't ride other people. Not in Maple Story. Dude, Mountain Ho, Ho Young, but also dual wielding like Mercedes. Is that true? Oh, it is true. Two crossbows. That's not right. The dual crossbow update would go crazy for Wild Hunter. That's the, the meta change I want. And then another High Mountain fren Frenzy Fragment alert. But it is what it is. Still feels unreal. I hit this in one build. Oh, I remember this. This guy smegged this. This is the three line crit damage glove, right? Yep. The guy smegs this in Kronos. It's fucking absurd. 1.5 bill worth of cubes and about one bill through got this. He was even willing to settle for one line crit, two line luck. Brother. <laughs> Yo, fuck you, my guy. You're on interactive. You can sell it and buy a nice car. Only worth only in quotation marks worth like five to eight k, brother. If you're paying five k for a virtual item in any game, I wish to be as rich as that person for it to not matter. That's all I'm saying. As a broke boy myself, looking at it in the lens of that is crazy. But uh, this item is fucking insane. Obviously, I mean three line crit damage is um. Here, I can open up the calculator. Hold on. Alright, I got the calculator open. Um, It's going to be like over a trill, I would imagine, right? On average. What am I doing? Love. Okay. What am I doing? Three-line crit damage with black cubes. 
Yeah, average cost 2.245 trillion. 95 percentile is 6.7 trillion. Uh, I would say you got pretty lucky, sir. And that's like a once in a lifetime type beat luck. Good that it's on arcane gloves, though. God forbid if that was on Abso, you would never get rid of them, I don't think. Right? Well, I guess you probably would. Two-line crit arcane? Well, would it be better? I don't know. Somebody who's better at math and smarter than me, tell me, would that be better? Would three-line Abso crit gloves be better than arcane two-line crit gloves? I don't know. Um... Assuming same stars and everything, like 22 star versus 22 star, it's just 3 line crit versus 2 line crit. Guide for new gen Mayflers, I saw this. This is what I need. Red, black. Because I... For some reason to me, the blue cube is called glowing cube, right? I know this. And this is called bright cube. But they're not distinct. Red and black cubes were so straightforward because the cube name was the color of the cube. And they were both very distinct from each other. Dark blue and dark purple. These, uh, these are very close. I'm not saying that they're close, but I'm saying that they're closer than red and black. And also, like, the, the naming. Glowing and bright... Brother, neither of these cubes are particularly bright. I guess I would make the blue cube the bright cube if I had to. But what does glowing mean? They're both glowing, my guy. One is glowing, the other is bright, but which is which you'll never remember until you check. This is what I'm saying, man. Such great visual design. I still have no idea which is which without checking which costs more. That's what I'm saying. I know what they do functionally, but I can't tell you what each of them do without looking at them. Like, I know one of them is a black cube, and I know one of them is a red cube. I don't know, man. But at least I have more of an excuse than some other people, because when I played the game last, red and black cubes were the thing. And I know it's been like a recent-ish change to the new cubes, but still, it's probably been in the game for a while now. Wild Hunters when they have nothing to offer anymore. <laughs> the unskilled skills is crazy. You may not like it, but this is peak performance. Eliza Thornberry. That's a fire name. Is that an android? Interesting. How many stuffed animals do you have on your bed? That's a crazy call out. Oh, and then the maple memo. And then I guess I'll do the transparency appreciation post. So the maple pe the maple memo came out like about a week ago um, when they kind of posted. Here, I can just open it here. Uh, when they posted about like uh, this stuff, like um, the extended maintenances, the things that they changed and stuff. Basically... This is good comms, really good comms, and I'm super happy about that, but we apologize once again for failing to meet your expectations is your favorite line. Listen, the fact that they're willing to say that, I think, says a lot. It, it, this is what I'm saying. This is huge for them to say I'm impressed. Yes. Because it's one thing to say we are sorry, but it's... It's impactful. I, genuinely, I do think it's impactful for a company to be like, look, we're sorry we fucked up and we're sorry we can't meet your expectations again. And mo like taking ownership of past mistakes going forward is big, even if it doesn't seem like it. Obviously, it doesn't matter if nothing changes, but I'm still of the mindset that things are changing because like in the past, something like this Mabel memo would have never been released. Oh, yeah, and then the crystal prices are going to be adjusted. Comms? Really well, really well written memo. It would be nice to acknowledge they're working on fixing high mountain lag and up jump. Yeah, that would have been nice. Obviously, it's not perfect, but it's better than what you were expected to get, which was nothing. 
transparency appreciation post. Despite the shortcomings, extended maintenance, and issues with the patch, I personally think Nexon deserves some praise for openly discussing internal issues and explaining why some content was omitted or caused problems. That is not to say their memo sufficiently addresses all the issues we've had, but the transparency feels like a step in the right direction. Really hope they continue to communicate openly moving forward. As communicated so not long ago that their new development team will need, need time to ramp things up. Here's hoping things get better with time. Thank you, Inquil. Go West. This is my sentiment exactly. I'm not saying forget everything that they've done shitty, but I'm saying look at the things that they've said, look at the things that have happened, because this is a big change in the game's direction, and look at the ways that they're progressing forward from that point. Genuinely, things do look better, and things are better, even if things are still not released functionally correctly, if that makes sense. Some of the backlash could have been avoided if we have the CM keeping us updated. Yeah, I do think the CMs could probably do more in that department. But I do think it's not on the CM. Like, I, the CMs are doing what they're told, I would imagine. And if they're not told to do these things, then they're not going to do them, obviously. So why they're not being told to do it, I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, but I think that's it for this episode of Legally Distinct Maple Monday. Uh, not biting anyone's shit. God bless Deboki for his old Maple Mondays. I love that man. Always have, always will. I mean, I shit, I used to watch Deboki's videos when I was like fucking 12, man. It's been, it's been a while. Listen, I'm out though. Thanks for hanging out. If you guys like this, uh, maybe I'll do these every Monday. I don't know. But I will see you guys all in the next one. Thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit. Bye. Make sure to like the video if you like it. Subscribe, all that shit. Kids are becoming a member. Thank you, Remix My Life. I'm Nufu. It's Biscuits, Inner Diz, Arts.